What's up you guys, After Two Reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Stargate SG-1. This is Season 9, Episode 3, so let's get into it. Previously on Stargate SG-1. These bracelets link us together. Daniel! You're killing an innocent person! She's a VIP, code blue! You were I think I just didn't believe that she was dead, like, the whole time that it was happening. I'm like, she's just gonna wake up, like... Where are we? The plains of Celestis. And that? City of the gods. Uh -huh. Maybe you can tell me who you are. I am a prior of the Orai. And what is that? All in due time. I guess we'll just wait here. Is that what we're going to do? Okay, that's a Milky Way game. Hello, Daliora. Both Daniel and Vala's vitals have been stable for two hours now. What about disconnecting them from the device? Dr. Lee has been unable to remove the stones. We haven't tried C4 yet, sir. Dr. Lee is working on disabling the power source, but given that the device is tied directly into their minds, I recommend we proceed with caution. I understand, but if one or both of them run into trouble again, I'm ordering you to take whatever action is necessary to shut that thing down. Took a word. After the fall of the Goa Wuld, Baal's Armada was led by a Jaffa named Hubrock. Hubrock was an ally of Braytax and would have supported our desire to reform the Jaffa nation with democracy. However, approximately four months ago, Hubrock disappeared. You think Garrick had something to do with it? Though no evidence has been uncovered. But shortly after Hubrock's disappearance, Garrick emerged as spokesperson for the more traditional ways of the Jaffa High Council. Which he could control. Through a series of slow and deliberate manipulations, Council played squarely into Garrick's hands. Well, that makes him one of the most powerful guys out there. At least that we know of. I suppose I should meet him face to face. I will extend your invitation. What? I'm starving. The central icon of the religion seems to be fire. I don't need a book to tell me that. I mean, that would make sense. Fire is light, energy, warmth. And yet, on Earth at some point, fire became associated with demonic imagery, things that are evil, hell, not heaven. And? I just wonder if the ancients had something to do with that. Tell you what, why don't you flip to the end and see how it all turns out. Hmm? The village of Varega has been corrupted. We didn't do it, I promise. We are connected to these people, Herod and Salas, by means of a communication device that was brought to our galaxy a long time ago by a race of people called the Alterans. Also known as the Ancients. The point is, we meant no harm. We're explorers. You know of others? Others. Unbelievers. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want us to tell on people who don't believe in the all right? Devotion is rewarded. Those who stray must be guided back to the path. Seems to me those who stray get burnt to death. The Ori gave all men and women free will. If the Ori are so powerful, why do they need us to tell them who believes in them and who doesn't? The Ori need nothing from us. It is we who must seek the truth of the universe in order to achieve enlightenment. Been down this road before. Amica was forgiven his transgression and found his way back to the path. I can't take much more of this. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but um, if you brought us here to try and convert us, I think it's fair to tell you that we're really not in the market for new gods. The will of the Ori brought you here. I suppose we could talk to one of these Ori. Of course. Uh, well, great, that, 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 that would be great. Speak, and they shall hear you. Okay, Lem, you can torture us 
all you want with your rhetoric, but we're not going to crack. Well, I might. But we're not going to tell you anything because we don't know anything, am I right? Uh, can I talk to your boss? The, uh, the doci. Like, Aegidius of Valder, I need to speak things that can only be spoken in the light of the fire. Come with me. Could you not have asked that an hour ago? I've been listening to him drone on and Not you. Not who? Not me. But I... <sighs> I'll wait here. Petrus spoke to the rock, not with his lips, but with his mind. And the rock wept tears of fresh water, and his thirst was quenched. Fear not the Ori. Fear the darkness that would conceal the knowledge of the universe. Believe in the truth of all things, and you too may find the path to enlightenment. And a man has no greater thing under the sun than to eat, drink, and be merry. Ecclesiastes, my favorite. My grandma was a bit of a Bible thumper. Weekends at grandma meant long, long Sundays at St. Hilda's Church of the Grand Epiphany. Lieutenant Colonel Cameron Mitchell. I am a prior of the Ori. It's nice to meet you. Your arrival here was foreseen. No kidding. So you see the future, do you? Lessons of days gone by teach us what will come to pass. Yeah, I'm a bit of a history buff myself. Doesn't help me pick the lotto numbers, though. So, where are you from? Where we come from and where we are going are all the same. Wherever you go, there you are. I think that's Buckaroo Banzai. Me, I'm from a little planet called Earth. The home of Daniel Jackson. He never mentioned that before. You know Dr. Jackson, do you? From him did we learn of your need. Our need for what? The revelation of your destiny. Hello, I'm uh... Daniel Jackson. From the planet Earth. Oh, hey, I recognize that guy. Okay. He was in Smallville. So you know my name and where I'm from, so I assume you also know how I'm connected to this man's mind. Why I'm here. Uh, you see, we're, we're explorers. We'd very much like to get to know you, um, your society, how you came to be. A prior has been dispatched to the place from whence you come. Really? Uh, you can you can do that. Uh, I thought we were in another galaxy. It is the will of the Ori that we should spread origin to all those blessed by their creation. I think you should understand that there are, are many different kinds of people in the place from whence I come. Um, people who believe in, in many different things. They shall find the path to enlightenment. Well, I, I think you should also understand that they may not see your way as the only way. The power and the greatness of the Ori cannot be denied. Those who reject the path to enlightenment must be destroyed. Right. I was afraid of that. Unscheduled incoming wormhole. <laughs> I can see what this is about. Uh, Tilk, please escort our guests to the briefing room. The Book of Origin says, those who seek the path to enlightenment must not be led astray. You see, that can be interpreted a number of different ways. I think maybe I know what the Ori are, uh, who they are. And I'm not denying they are very powerful beings, but if I'm right, they're not gods. They're like the ascended beings I know. They simply have a greater understanding of the knowledge of the universe. What is a god but a being that is worshipped by those beneath? Is great knowledge, power, understanding not enough for you to revere the Ori? Respect, yes, certainly, but that doesn't mean I would murder innocent people in their name. I guess what I'm trying to understand is whether the Ori have spoken to you directly and told you to worship them, or whether you've misinterpreted some evidence you found along the way and developed this religion on your own. I can't speak for everyone in my galaxy, but in my own humble opinion, I don't believe that any individual or society can achieve enlightenment through fear-mongering and forced and servitude, no matter what power is presented as evidence. And that's something the ascended beings I know very clearly seem to understand. Don't get me wrong, I mean, we should all be trying to better ourselves. I mean, if ascension really is the ultimate end we're trying to achieve, then so be it. But we should all be allowed to get there or not of our own free will. You can kill me for saying that, but that is what I believe in. Nothing you say or do will ever change my mind. Come. Jesus. 
realize this is just a friendly meeting. But on behalf of our planet's leaders, I've been asked to present a few thoughts for you to consider. Who is that? Lieutenant Colonel Mitchell, SG-12, and a gentleman we encountered on another planet who claims that he represents some gods called the Ori. I think we have yet to see the real fallout from dismantling the infrastructure established by the Goal. Indeed. I wish to meet this prior of the Ori. If he preaches faith in false gods, then that is a concern for all of us. I wish to hear his claims and challenge him. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. What's going on? This is bad. Worse than being burnt to death? It appears our ascended ancients in the Ori have a slight difference of opinion. See, the Ori seem to think that because they're ascended, human beings should worship them, all humans. And if we don't? Then we're unworthy of living and should be destroyed. I don't think enlightenment means what they think it means. See, apparently our ascended ancients have been shielding our existence from the Ori. They've been protecting us. The Ori seem to think that our ancients are evil because they haven't shared the secrets of the universe with us. Well, I hate secrets, at least the ones I don't know. See, the problem is the Ori now know our galaxy is inhabited by humans because of us. I refuse to accept the blame for that. Curiosity is part of human nature. Look, if the ancients knew that the Ori was so bad, why didn't they stop us from coming here? Free will. If they have been protecting us, there's no reason to believe they won't continue. The ancients may be protecting us from the Ori, but not their human followers. See, ancients won't interfere in any lower planes of existence. If anybody from our galaxy wants to worship the Ori, apparently that's our choice. And they won't stop Priors from coming through the gate because apparently they've already sent one. The Ori have given Prior special powers, and that's not fair. They're still human. And highly evolved humans can have some pretty amazing abilities. They're using the secrets of the universe that the Ori have given them to spread word of the Ori's godliness. And when people don't see the light, it's going to be... What are we going to do? I don't know. I'm starting to think the sending priors is just the beginning. We could be talking crusade here. We need to warn Earth. We need to get out of these people. Take the unbelievers back to Virega. Let its cleansing mark forever the beginning of a new age. Annoying. Sorry. Evil has raised a great many unbelievers in a far-off place. They must be shown the path. Hallowed are the Ori. Hallowed are the Ori. Why did he bring us back here? I think he's using us to weed out any other heretics that might be here. I still don't get why they are. I just don't do it themselves. They're supposed to be gods. Aren't gods all seeing, all knowing, all powerful? Well, the universe is infinite, remember? Apparently that's a lot to keep track of. I get the feeling the Ori let their devout followers do their enforcing for them. It confirms their loyalty. Okay. Why did we let the prior bring us back here? Well, because I don't think he was going to give us much choice. And besides, I'm starting to think that it, that might be our best way to contact Earth and warn them about what we know. How? Well, Fanis said that his sect had found other artifacts. You think they also have a terminal device to go with the stones? If they do, and we can find it and hook up the stones, maybe we can get this communication thing going both ways. Right. I have come to spread the word to the unbelievers who have been sheltered and raised by evil. Yeah, I have no idea how much he sounds like my grandma. It's a pretty big village. I suspect that Fanis and his gang did a reasonable job hiding their sacrilegious artifacts. Well, we have to do something. You shouldn't have come. They're using us to get to you. So I suspected. Either that or you've truly come to see the power of the Ori. Bloody likely. You have to leave. If I can help you speak the reality of our existence to your people, maybe one day in turn, they will spread that word back here. You, you said you had other artifacts besides the stone. I'll show you. No, just tell me. Now we're looking for a large dome-shaped object with a blue crystal on top. The stones fit inside of it. Come. Fannis! You're risking your life. Herod, Salus, and I, all those who believe as we do have known for some time that we may give our lives for our cause. We can only hope one day the truth comes to bear as a result. And... Whoa, uh, so something just happened.
people shall deliver the wicked unto your divine judgment, where their sins shall be weighed in balance with all that is just and true. What's the matter with you people? I'm telling I'm you. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I don't think they're buying it. Oh, I heard you do better. <laughs> Glorious are the Ori who lead us to salvation, who did fight the evil that would doom us to mortal sin. Did they defeat the old spirits and cast them out? And now, with the strength of our will, they do call upon us to prevail against the corruption of all unbelievers. Oh. Second time's the charm. The Ori do not shield this knowledge as others might. Selfish in their powerful advantage, they lead you to their realm with the path that is laid out in the Book of Origin. All you need do is follow their teachings. I'm very sorry. You'll have to excuse us for a moment. They woke up just for a moment, and then they lost consciousness again. Did they say anything? Yes, they did. What is the meaning of this? Very sorry. We've just received some information about our visitor here that demands we take every precaution. We'll have to take the staff, sir. And you'll have to come with us. I demand to know what you've learned. All I wish to do is spread the word of the Ori to your world. Actually, that was never going to happen. Then I must leave at once. That's not going to happen either. Follow the Ori. the Ori. Hallowed are the Ori. This time it's both of them. Now, now, now hold on. This device draws its power directly from subspace. It'll react very badly to an explosion. You can't blow it up. Perhaps we should send it to the Stargate. Genius. Uh, no, well, it also uses subspace to communicate with another galaxy across the universe. I mean, there's no reason to believe that Daniel and Bala won't stay connected to it, even from another planet. I have a different idea. Tell them to start dying in the gate. Where to? Wherever. Wherever. Okay. Okay. Walter, orders from Colonel Mitchell, sir. Proceeding. Not yet, Walter! Not yet! Halting dialing sequence. Blood pressure's dropping, the heart rate's rising. They're going into shock. Now! Resuming dialing sequence. Chevron 7, blocked. Charging a 200. Really rock for those Clear. <gasps> General Landry. Dr. Lamb says that Daniel and Vala have regained consciousness. Well done. See, that's what I'm talking about. Come and gaze upon the flames of enlightenment. Let its power wash over you. Great holy armies shall be gathered and trained to fight all who embrace evil. In the name of the gods, ships shall be built to carry our warriors out amongst the stars, and we will spread origin to all the unbelievers. The power of the Ori will be felt far and wide, and the wicked shall be vanquished. Hallowed are the Ori. Hallowed are the Ori. So you think we should expect more of these priors to show up? I would be very surprised if they didn't. 
We know one came through the Stargate, but if their galaxy is so far away... I suspect the R.I. have the power to make a lot of things happen. Still, for the Priors, I think we can assume it's a one-way trip. Don't think they have a problem with self-sacrifice. You think the ancients here in our galaxy will continue to stop the Ori from using their power to attack us directly? I hope so, but... So how do we fight these guys? And I mean the message as much as the men. A lot of folks out there are going to buy what these guys are selling. Hopefully now, many have been educated to the ways of false gods. Yes, but we're not talking about humans with snakes in their heads with a slightly better understanding of technology. See, their power isn't false. The priors are going to offer to people what will seem like proof of God. Proof of powerful beings is not proof of God. Well, I'm not saying it is. Look, just because we know there is some beings on a higher plane of existence than ourselves does not mean there is not an order of being higher than them. At least I reckon that's what my grandma would say. And the universe is supposedly infinite. Which in my book makes it impossible to know everything. Uh, somewhere in there you gotta fill in the blanks with a little faith. I had a grandma too. Wow, what the hell are you doing here? Hey! Nice to see you too. Oh, sorry, I just wasn't expecting to see you. Ah, well, I was in the neighborhood. And I've got a little surprise for Mitchell. Yeah, he loved the last one, the, uh... In fact, he didn't tell him that we were all moving on to different positions. Yeah. Sorry, you missed Daedalus. No, you're not. You're right. I'm not. Listen, I uh, just had a briefing with Landry about your stuff. Yeah. Sounds like it could be a problem. Been up against some pretty bad guys before. Yeah, not so pretty. Overdressed, yes. There's some tough situations that we always won. I don't really understand why they said that he was going yeah, to but didn't like. You feel that they was because kind of talked about him stepping down, that he's not really stepped down. I don't think I would say this to anyone else, but for the first time, I'm scared. I'm hungry. Me too. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, yeah, well that was Stargate SG-1 Season 9 Episode 3. Um, so yeah, we've made an enemy of the Ori. <laughs> Classic. Um, yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm glad that Daniel and Vala are okay. That's good. It's nice seeing um, Alexa Doig, I think her name is, 
in something else. Um, and before everyone bombards me with comments, I know, I'm aware that she's married to, um, Michael Shanks. I know that. I don't know if they're still married, but I know that. Is this where they met? I don't know. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.